Okay. All right, we're live. You want to demonstrate your little tool and, and who you are, where you're from? Sure, I'll show you. Um, <clears throat> this is the uh, live. All right, I'm, you're going to have to speak up a little because I got to stand back so you can see it. I got to stand back a little bit so it gets in it. But you got to speak up. I don't have a microphone except right here. <laughs> All right, well, this is the uh, the log ox collar, and basically, the, the beauty of this log, this tool is that instead of having to bend over or pick something up like this, you want to use your legs and not your back. Right, right. And now you can, Where were you 30 years ago? <laughs> so now you can take it to wherever you want to go. Pop it off. If the log is too big to carry it to the side, what you want to do? That's not it. That's okay. You can use it in your Drag it. Set it up under a vertical spinner. Now the tool is very aggressive. It holds on to it nicely. You will pick up a large range of pieces like this. That's a pretty handy tool. It's a great tool for feeding the splitter because you take the log down, drop it up onto the splitter, put it on the holster, do your splitting, and then you can go grab another one. And so it's a real good tool for feeding the splitter. It's also a great short cant hook. Yeah. If you have a portable sawmill like the one behind us, it's great for turning that can over the thumb yeah. and cutting the other side. You want more leverage than what this can offer you? Put the extension on it. And you now have a 40 inch can. And with a 40 inch can, so we can really turn a good size pod. Then you can convert it to a timber jack. Have the timber jack, drop a couple of pins in there. Yep. And now you've got a timber jack like this. And the beauty of that is that you're now not worried about pinching. You're not worried about going into the ground. You're not bending over as much to do the cutting. So you'll process that three to four times faster off the ground and on the ground. Absolutely. And the real nice part about it, it is a uh, modular tool. so you can Take it on a plant. And you can put it into a gear bag like this, and it stores easily, transports easily, and you've got three essential forestry tools at your fingertips all the time. Now, let me see that handle for just a second. Yes, sir. Now, that's steel. It's all steel. And it's heavy. It's not going to bend under under the weight of a log that's nice and heavy that's a good piece of steel it is it's uh, it's, it's rugged and it's all made in uh missouri and um it's all everything that log ox does is manufactured in the u.s 100 percent american made 100 percent. and you got a holder on in your belt so you can so carry it when you're when you're doing the splitting you need to put the tool someplace right so this is a nice convenient place to put it it's really i can see where that would be handy working in the woods where we're bucking up logs for the sawmill because a lot of times you get the end of a log and you need to get it out of your way yep and that would work perfect why don't you try that out so I'll show you that there's some release tech. Let me show you the release Show me everything. Okay, here we go. Okay. So, so the, the funny part about the tool is that you pick it up and you go to set it down. You gotta go pick it up again. <laughs> oh yeah, because of the kid like go. So you have a release technique, so what about if I get a different little joke like this? Oh, yeah. I bet he can't do it right the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do it right also. I'll bet you drop it on your toe and fall in the mud. Probably. Or you can drop it. You go drop it on his foot and fall in the mud. Like that. Like that, right? I'm a logger. <laughs> <laughs> so what does this do, John? Oh, okay. 
This is called the log ox, guys. Completely 100% American made. We will put the link to this on our video when we get home. So it's multi purpose, so it's a can hook, it's a carrier, and also now I see that this is curved here. Why is that curved? So that's curved. This is a new product that we introduced in 2022. We have a It is curved because it will have it like this. You can use it and skid it. Ultimately, that's what it does right there. It's easier for you to lock it back. So this is a very so I see that this is uh, user friendly because you wouldn't put it on the wrong way. <laughs> they even have an arrow. <laughs> Nobody here would do that. <laughs> Nobody would do that. User friendly. <laughs> the nice part about the tool is uh, it all comes apart. It's modular, so it's easy to put into a, uh, a gear bag like that one. Nice. And that gear bag is designed so that it straps long enough to can use it as a backpack. So, you know, you can put that in the back of your truck or whatever, and you've got three essential forces to use it. Can it can multiple, yeah. It takes a multiple years. Now, does the gear bag come with it, or is this sold separately? That's sold separately. Sold separately. So we sell the, the uh, hauler by itself, okay? We sell the three in one, and then we have what we call our forestry kit, which includes the, uh, the holster. Okay. Oh, I didn't even see the holster. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, one of the great things about this is it's a nice tool for feeding the spinner. So, you know, you grab a log brown, do it up onto your spinner, Drop it there, do your spinning, go grab it up. So you can know we're going to put the tool in this and we can do that. It's not recommended to put the, case, the handle in there though, right? Or the extension while it's in the holster? <laughs> <laughs> Might knock yourself out. <laughs> it's really not designed to be walking around the woods with it on the side. It's really designed so that when you're doing splitting, mm -hmm. you have a place to sit it down. Or, you know, instead of throwing it on the, on the ground like we do with the camps. Yeah, right. So you don't want to throw it on the ground you know, because then you have to bend over to pick it right. up. So you can kind of get You know, you can pick up such a nice pipe there. Because um, when I'm harvesting that forward on a down tree, I collect everything. So even, you know, the small rounds, you know, you grab this, throw one under your arm, grab another one, and you're it all out. Yeah, and that, uh, that handle's real nice. I mean, I'm a senior. I'm in my 60s, and it picks up like nothing. John says you're a young pup. John Twice says you're a, a young pup. <laughs> is a young pup. Twice in a row. So you're the designer, and this is the brains behind the company? <laughs> she is. She's the one that makes sure everything is getting done properly. Now, let me hold your card for just a second. I'll hold it up here in front of the camera, because this will go on video afterwards. This is how you get a hold of Log Ox. And on the back side, you can put this around. You also There's the phone number, the website, um, looks like you're on Instagram. Yeah, it's have our social media. So Len and John, right? Len and John. Okay. Now these are sold at Hudson, right? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Hudson so Force Sprint. So Hudson is one of our uh, dealers, and uh, we're here doing dealer support for nice. Hudson at the uh, fair and uh, very nice nice design nice thought
Yeah, no, it's, a, it's a great tool, and you know, we've had so many people tell us, you know, once they start using it and they get it into their routine of working in the woods, uh, we, they, they won't go in the woods without it. And we have a video on our website that's basically harvesting from roots to leaves, and throughout the whole harvesting process, you'll use the tool, different tools at different times. And so, you know, it'll make, it'll save your back and it'll make the job go a lot faster, safer, and easier. So what is your website? I already got that. We already got that it's on, on the, the card. card. Yep. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. I'm not trying to put you on the spot. Yes, sir. But I know you've tested this. What is the biggest log you have picked up and and set up for cutting firewood? I'll tell you what. My son has picked up a much bigger log than I can pick up. <laughs> okay. But his log is... Um, you know, he's picked up a log, and I estimated it was about 150 pounds. And uh, it was just, you know, this one here, I would have drug, drug, taken it to the uh, right. vertical splitter, but you can see that's a, that's a massive log. Okay, well, that's that's manly size log for picking up. I'm talking about flipping a log up to saw it like this. Oh, so, you know, what we recommend there is uh, on, on picking up with the... Uh, <clears throat> the timber jack is up to about 10 inches in diameter. Ten. Um, you know, these logs that are over here, most of them you could actually pick up with the, right, right. the timber jack. Um, about 10 inches, what we're saying is, you know, cut it halfway through, use the, the, uh, the can hook, flip it over and cut the back. Side. Right, right. But a lot of these logs, like you see over there, you know, or the one that's sort of hung up here, um, those are really nice size that you can pick up with um, the timber jack. And again, you'll cut that three to four times faster off the ground. It's, it's amazing how much faster. And anybody who's been trying to cut those smaller ones on the ground, you know, they start to slow down. And they, they don't want to get pinched. And, you know, well, a little bit yeah. Up, they get pinched, you know, <laughs> or they go into the ground. Yeah. So, Okay, so we got like maybe a 12, 13 inch log on the mill over there. You see it over there? Yeah. Would that be able to pick one end up to be able to start sawing? Uh, it depends on how strong you are. <laughs> so if you were strong enough to pick it up, that would be strong enough to handle it. Oh well, yeah. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, so, so you know, if you were to, if you were to pivot, wanted to pivot that end, you could probably pick it up like this and pivot it. Because I, I bought something like this 30 years ago from Tractor Supply, okay. and not only did I bend the handle around the log, but I also <laughs> broke the leg off. Yep, yep. I imagine I know where that product came from, too. <laughs> I can imagine where it came from. This product is made here in the U.S. and in Missouri. Meant for real men to use. <laughs> All right, John. Well, we appreciate the demonstration. I appreciate you stopping by. I am absolutely impressed you could use it first time out. You did an awesome job. <laughs> you did. I, I don't know if I've ever seen one, if somebody do it as good as you did on the front. Oh, yeah. Usually I'll take a couple tries. But that's all it is. It takes it two or three tries and then you flip it out. If you got it, you nailed it on the front. Well, you really want to be impressed. Watch him walk through the woods sometime. <laughs> <laughs> He's really attentive about what's under the log. <laughs> <laughs> Not on purpose. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, John, thank you very much for the demonstration. All right, guys, we're going to be back in a few minutes. It's about 30 minutes or so.